Hello friends, today we'll look into the top 6 adenium tips and hacks on how to get a bigger and wider cortex in your adenium plant. These are sure short tips if followed carefully can increase the thickness of your adenium cortex to maybe 2 fold or even 5 fold thicker that's coming up. Welcome back. If you are a hobby gardener or interested in growing plants, consider subscribing to this channel. Also turn on the notification bell icon and you won't miss anything. Before we begin with the tips, one point to remember is the thickness of cortex is also determined by the genetic characteristics of a particular plant. Some plants willingly develop a thicker cortex themselves, but others may require human interventions. That is, apply some garden tips and hacks to make the adenium cortex powerful and thicker. The first hack or the tip is a pot size selection. Select a pot that is wider than its depth. That is, a wider pot. This forces the root system to become exposed to air as it grows and we call it training your adenium or adenium bonsai training. Well, depending on the size of your plant, take a wider container, roughly about 2 to 3 inches extra space around the existing cortex or the stem. And the depth of the pot of about 4 inches should be fine. Then the second tip is watering tips. Only water when your soil is dry, like 1 or 2 inches dry. Check it by raking or dipping your finger into the soil. And whenever you are watering, give it full watering. But in summer, you might need to give more water perhaps daily. And in dormant period, that is in winter, monthly twice should be fine. And it all depends on your local climate. One most important point here is the soil must be a very well draining soil with lots of sand in it. I'll make a separate video on this topic in detail some other time. Then the third tip is cutting the central root. Perhaps this is the tap root of adenium. The cortex is actually the storage organ of adenium. This is an adaptation from mainly the stem and also partly the root. This cutting is very important step in widening the cortex. Before carrying out cutting, try to wash or spray the root with hydrogen peroxide solution about 1 teaspoon in 1 litre of water or first wash the dirt in running water and then spray some hydrogen peroxide solution on the roots. Make sure when you are performing cutting, disinfect the cutting tool with a hydrogen peroxide solution or any household antiseptic like Dettol. Cut this root and leave the roots around the sides. You can cut it carefully without cutting or damaging some side roots. After cutting, apply a fungicide powder like SAF or if you do not have this, you can use cinnamon powder from your kitchen. SAF is a combination fungicide made up of carbendazine and mancozip. It's a very powerful and a very good universal fungicide. Well, then you can repot this piece and use one simple hack here. I've placed a plastic lid below this root flat and then I am firmly potting this into this container. You can see I have already done a hard pruning to this adenium plant. Well, now moving to the next tip that is tip number 4. Fertilizing adenium. You can use NPK 15-15-15 or 20-20-20 uh, about 5 crystals plus DAP 5 crystals plus micronutrient fertilizer powder if you have every 15 days should be fine and safe this will promote overall plant growth and also the growth of the cortex fertilize on all days of the year except in winter that is the period of dormancy you can adjust the dosage of fertilizer depending on the season like if it's uh, flowering season then increase the tap crystals and things like that then the fifth tip is pruning. Pruning of branches helps to increase the cortex. This is because most of the plant energy is diverted to growing thicker cortex rather than a leaf and flower development. You can leave few branches or uh, some leaves for photosynthesis. And one more point in adenium is the cortex is thought to perform the task of photosynthesis to some extent. The pruning will not only increase the cortex size but also increase branching and flowering. Remember to seal the cut end with a candle wax or fungicide powder to protect the plant from rotting. A 
uh, you can see here already few new shoots have started from the upper cortex if it's a grafted adenium you should cut above the graft if it is a seed grown adenium cut at the cortex so that it will give out more branches from the cortex itself okay then next hack is repotting and raising the cortex to half to one inch every three to six months this adenium hack will not only increase the cortex size but also give a beautiful bonsai like look to the uh, adenium plant so there we have it folks that was our episode on tips to make the adenium plant cortex thicker if you have some more points please share in the comment section below the video please give a thumbs up if you like the video and also consider subscribing if you are new to the channel happy gardening